Scorpio. This is Lucky with Lucky Seven Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is your March 2022 general reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Not every message will resonate with you. That's okay. If it doesn't resonate, check your Moon and Rising sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to get a personal reading with me. My website is lucky 7 The link is listed in the description box below. Let's go ahead and see what's coming up for you just in general. All right. Okay. I see you communicating with friends. With a friend. Over maybe a lost love or feelings that you don't have anymore. I don't know. Hold on. Some of you, there's going to be a conversation maybe with a Pisces or some information comes to you that you already know, like intuitively, and now it's like you have to face it, all right? You got to face it. You got to figure out what you're investing yourself into. Let's see. I, I do feel like somebody here... Maybe like moving on, getting over some kind of embarrassment. Um, let's see. Somebody is afraid to make peace with you or maybe this is you. I don't know. Any of these messages can be reversed. So I do feel like there is some kind of surprise situation. Something comes in unexpectedly. It teaches you a lesson in some way. And I feel like it's you like determining to move on beyond it. Like some of you there were some somebody playing games. You're gonna find out a secret about I don't know, a teacher or <laughs> somebody is teaching you a lesson. Let's see. Okay. I feel like someone that you were close to, for some of you, this is like somebody that you, you might've had a very close friendship or maybe you just, you guys could have been together, but someone just kept it. Like the title was only that we're friends. I don't know why I'm getting that. I also feel like it ended and someone has been like waiting to release how frustrated they feel or like letting go of the frustration about this ending. You could be making peace with a friend that you fell out with. For some of you, that's what I'm getting. I also see some kind of obstacle in the way of you dating or somebody that you're dating. It could be that somebody is like an, a drinker, you know, I don't know. They may have they may be a partier of some kind. I feel like you're there's some of you that are waiting for the shoe to the next shoe to drop. Like so that you can move on. You might even be waiting for somebody to be honest with you, or this is somebody waiting on you. I feel like there is a lot of jealousy. Somebody could be very jealous. They feel like they're in competition. Somebody afraid to take a risk because they feel like they don't want to be in competition with someone that maybe you're making peace with. I don't know. Take that how it resonates. Some of you have a issue or there's like a surprise issue with maybe family or surprise communication that comes in with a family member or somebody you were close to. I feel like someone here was stubborn in the past, closed off to this. A lot of y'all are going to be letting go. You might have an initial reaction of being like angry, but you're letting go of some kind of frustration. I see communication, like somebody learning their lesson and then deciding they want to communicate and either start fresh or just move on, like move towards a new 
situation. I feel like somebody here has been feeling stuck. They're regaining their confidence here and like taking a really good look in the mirror. Some of you, Vegas, I don't know, I see Vegas or gambling. Let's see. I almost called you Virgo, Scorpio. So maybe you're dealing with a Virgo, maybe a Virgo in your chart. Hmm. Hold on. Some of you, there is an, something with a child. Somebody wants a child. Somebody feels like they can't move because of a child or they feel like stuck with a child or somebody younger, maybe somebody that is childish. I don't know. I do see someone here grieving like maybe sitting in the house being sad or like upset about something having to do with their their home, their finances, their tangible stuff. Watch out for somebody trying to take something from you. I don't know. I also feel like um, there is some good fortune or good news that comes in either from you your community, your family, your support system, the people you surround yourself with. There's a change. Some of you are getting some kind of um, acc accolades, right? That could bring in wealth or abundance or something that you truly want. A title. So a title could be like a title in a relationship. Maybe you're going from one relationship status to a new one or like a title of mom dad uh doctor lawyer that type of thing like i'm title is what i'm getting some of you are concerned that something is not stable or you're worried about instability I feel like there is somebody that is not willing to make things official for some of you. I see a bait, a child here. Some of you could be having a child or Maybe there's money that comes in from a child, like child support or something of that nature. Random. I don't know why. I feel like somebody could be using somebody, using their child for money. I see you guys healing. Like healing from an ending. Or a bad, I don't know, healing from mental health, emotional health. There is an end to a relationship or a... Now, this doesn't have to be a love relationship. It could be like a family member or friendship. I see... Tell me more about this. I feel like there's a lot of stress or pressure... For some of you to turn a friendship into a relationship. And that might end up being the ending of things. For some of you, it could be that you had an ex that like wants to get back together. They want to just like start from where you guys left off. And now you guys are just kind of friends. And you feel like under a lot of pressure. Don't ask me why I got that. But that's what I got from what I'm seeing. I also feel like you guys are going to get something that you want. You're, if you've been struggling, whether it's financially or whatever, I see you guys getting some type of good fortune. Some of you are getting, there might be somebody like getting out of jail. Or getting themselves out of a place of feeling stuck. I also feel like a lot of you are, you're afraid to 
like there's this fear of poverty that is driving you. All right. There's a lot of worry about losses of money or worried about being alone. I feel like some of you guys feel stuck. Tell me more about this. What is this? For Scorpio. There's something coming to an end because somebody was afraid to make something official. For some of you, I feel like you're dealing with somebody in your life where they want a title and you don't want one, or you're afraid to want, you know, to give somebody a title. Like it's going to impinge on your life in some way. It's going to be more stress than it's worth. Let's see. Tell me what's coming up for Scorpio. Scorpio, seven of cups in reverse, eight of swords, bottom of the deck. You might feel like you don't have any options. I feel like you guys are getting out of this mentally stuck place. You're giving up on something, a relationship. Or some of you are getting into a relationship or a commitment and giving up you know, making sacrifices for that. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You also have the King of Swords in reverse. Somebody moved too quickly without thinking about the consequences of their actions before they made them. Some of you, there's something maybe you were, you're giving up on for something better. All right. For something more stable, more solid. Seven of swords reversed. Two of swords reversed. I feel like you're starting to see something real clear. Somebody. Yeah, seven of pentacles reversed. You are giving up something where maybe you feel like it's just not going to manifest the way you want it to. You're decided about this. You're not conflicted about it. For some of you, you're giving up on someone that is manipulative. Three of swords, reverse. I see you healing. You got the devil Capricorn energy here. Some of you are letting go of toxic, a toxic relationship, a toxic situation, addiction. Some of you are Definitely, I see you healing and breaking free of something that maybe just had a toxic hold on you. I do see as you release and let this go, you may have a relationship that comes in for you. Let's see what your challenge is. What's challenging? Okay. The challenge is judgment. All right. You got judgment reverse reverse. So it's ultimately judgment in the upright and at the bottom of the deck, justice reverse. The challenge has a lot to do with maybe somebody owing you an apology for something that was unfair to them in the past or unfair to you in the past. All right. Looking back and seeing maybe where somebody fucked up, like where some and apologizing, right? Apologizing for lying because I feel like something didn't end well. Or it didn't have an ending at all. Somebody could have got ghosted. There was a lot of manipulation here with somebody that I think you were very connected to at one point. I don't know. But the challenge is going to be to make something right. Let's see. Clarify this judgment. The Eight of Pentacles. In reverse. Okay. I fell on the floor. Still in reverse. What else? The Eight of Swords. In reverse, at the bottom of the deck, like letting this go is going to be a challenge. You know, looking back, I feel like looking back at the past, letting go of the past, where somebody maybe didn't offer you love, didn't open up emotionally. I don't know. There's something here about you still holding on and needing to let go in order to find happiness. So that's the challenge is to let go of the past. 
let go of what wasn't fair, let go of the fact that somebody lied to you and that they weren't honest or, you know, that they ghosted you or they left you in this really um, vulnerable state and to move forward. And if you did this to somebody, you may owe somebody an apology so that you can let go and move on, right? Let's see. Tell me why the Seven of Cups is here reversed. The Two of Swords. You're seeing something real clear. You, as you take this blindfold off and you make a choice about what you want, things start to change in your life, all right? Some of you... This could even be an offer on the table where like you're wanting to be faithful to somebody or somebody's wanting you to be faithful to them. It's like, okay, making this decision could work for some of you. Page of Pentacles reversed. There is somebody that is giving up on a situation because they don't want to be played or that's what happened. Like you got Aquarius energy here. I feel like someone is definitely healing. There was a lot of bitterness that somebody felt, maybe because they were given up on. I don't know. Five of Cups. The Fool reversed. Ugh. Ten of Swords reversed. Somebody is sad, depressed. Could be an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, because you wouldn't be, maybe you didn't want to take a risk with this person or someone that was very solid, all right, whether it's a male or a female, somebody that was solid. They had everything. They feel like, I don't know if this is you or them, but somebody is regretful when it comes to this. They want to heal the situation. They There's somebody that feels super manipulated it, or is manipulation, is manipulating. Eight of Wands reversed. Somebody can't get over a situation. Like they can't move on from something that was really unstable. Like some an offer that wasn't given. Why the Seven of Pentacles reversed? The magician reversed. Somebody gave up because there was a lot of manipulation. They felt like they couldn't manifest the type of relationship that they wanted to have in this connection. They waited, waited long enough. They feel like they waited long enough for you to get your shit together or that's how you feel about them. Why the three of swords reverse? The hermit, Virgo energy. Somebody is definitely becoming more enlightened and aware of why something had to happen. Like why a relationship went bad, why it wasn't growing. Um, tell me more about the Three of Swords reverse. Queen of Swords. There was a lot of bitterness because somebody felt taken advantage of. Somebody was pushed away. Somebody from the past is thinking about returning into your life, Scorpio. You have a very strong connection with this person, I see. Could be a fire sign, maybe an earth sign. You also have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini too. So really could be any sign. But I feel like either you're thinking about returning to them, they're thinking about returning to you after a lot of bitterness, a lot of heartbreak. I feel like somebody is either wanting to heal this or healing from it for some of you. Take it how it resonates. All right, let's see. Scorpio. Oh, someone is bitter because they feel like somebody was forcing something or they feel forced and they want their, listen, they want to be free or they want their freedom. I feel like you are, there's somebody maybe going to show you some type of compassion and they may be hesitant to do that, but there's going to be like some relief that someone shows the other person compassion. I don't know. I see you guys un 
man, you're under a hell of a lot of stress. Stress, you feel this pressure, right? Some of you have unhealed abandonment issues that there's somebody that neglected you or, you know, maybe you just have childhood trauma from neglect and abandonment in the past that have caused you to like carry that into relationships with others. You let people get close. You don't let them get close, like close enough. At some point, there's always a wall. Somebody is very hopeful and worried about a relationship. Definitely see a lot of anxiety. Anxiety because they're worried that somebody's going to neglect them or somebody's going to walk away. There's always this behind, like, fear that somebody's going to walk away. I feel like somebody's super clingy as well, and it could be exhausting. What's being forced here for Scorpio? Tell me what's being forced. A lot of you are worried that you're forcing something or somebody is forcing something here. There's something here about somebody being criticized. Yeah, someone is resentful. They feel pressured. A lot of you are guarded when it comes to love because you have this energy of, all right, you want love, but then you want your freedom too. You want love, but you want your freedom. Somebody also wants a commitment. And I feel like the more that they want a commitment, I think this could even be you, like you wanting to love, but at the same time, it kind of stresses you out. It's a very stressful type of energy is what I am feeling. Let's see what this got to say. Tell me what Scorpio needs to know. Hmm. Some of you are not talking to somebody. Or not talking to somebody is actually protection for you. Not saying something could actually be protection for you. I feel like somebody doesn't want to beg you to like get your shit together or like choose them. There is someone you're not talking to, you walked away from. You're not chasing after them. It, it does. I feel like this makes you sad. And if it's not you, then it's them. But this makes you sad. But at the same time, like, I'm not going to beg you to stay here. All right. You might have even like ghosted them and moved on or like. And now you can't avoid it anymore. This person, there might be a reconciliation or an opportunity to reconcile, but you're not going to beg for it. Somebody has legal paperwork to file or has a legal situation going on. Tell me what else. Yeah. You're doing a lot of thinking about the past. But not a lot of talking about it. Or talking to someone. I see an offer on the table, but there, again, it's an offer on the table. But it's like, I'm going to give this to you, but I'm not going to beg you for it either. All right. You feel a magnetic pull towards somebody. Mm. Some of you, you have a twin flame that you have a lot of sexual chemistry with, but you deny that that's what you really want. You don't want to face the situation for what it is. You 
yeah, you let go of an unhealthy relationship or unhealthy behavior. Some of you is a family member or somebody you have a family with. You don't even connect with this person online. But it's not over. Some of you, it could be not over because somebody is locked up and they haven't come home yet. All right. For some of you, it's not over because this person still has their grip on you. Tell me more. Yeah, I do see you moving on. Or like there's a physical move or... change within your home environment. Some of you, I'm telling you, the person that you're not in contact with is your divine counterpart. This person may try to look at your stuff online to see if you're single, if you're in a relationship, or like they ask about you. Some of you are going to court for like child support, alimony, or there's like some type of court papers that are being filed. Tell me about this. What's this about? Yeah, it's like family court. Family court. Or for a loved one? I don't know. Some of you could be filing paperwork because somebody is pregnant. I don't know why, but I feel like somebody might have got pregnant off of like a one night stand or like a risk that they were taking. And for some of you, the person just wants like money. They don't care about anything else. Or that's the way that maybe your other person feels like the other parent may feel like you trapped them into a baby or into a situation. And I don't know. That's what I got from that. But like I said, that's not for everybody. And that's probably only going to resonate with like 1% of you if that. Definitely. Look at this. I keep saying somebody wants a commitment from you or that's what they wanted. They wanted a commitment. They wanted the real thing. Somebody here may have stepped out or cheated. And now they're avoiding accountability. You might even feel like this person just wasn't there for you, you know, that could have, for some of you, maybe that's the reason why you stepped out if it was you. I see somebody waiting on the perfect opportunity to come towards you, but I also feel like you're not going to be forgiven. Somebody feels you slipping away. Somebody wants to forgive you or wants your forgiveness. And the other person is avoiding accountability. I do feel like you have someone still has feelings for their ex, but it's like they're moving on physically, like moving forward with somebody new, but they still care about, they still love the, the person they were with before. You know, there's still emotions connected to that old situation. They may not necessarily be ready to move on. And if that's you, then just acknowledge that, right? Don't lead anybody else on because that's going to create negative karma. Somebody does have hidden intentions or they are manipulating a situation and you need to trust your intuition. Somebody could be watching you online, but they're a coward like they can't come forward. I feel like somebody is like being disrespectful. They may even have their friends doing this to you. You're suspicious of somebody. 
you don't trust them. This person comes across as like an adult, like they're so mature, but you don't trust them. You're going to be surprised at someone's, um, I don't know, maybe somebody's jealousy or, let's see. You might end up being either bitter or whatever that finding out about somebody's sexual activity or somebody is jealous that you're dating someone or vice versa. I feel like you guys are breadcrumbing people or that's how you felt in the past. You've been breadcrumbed. Mind games, somebody playing mind games. They would, you know, they wouldn't commit. Tell me about this shocking surprise. What is this? Oh. Some of you feel like somebody is using you for money or like to make ends meet. Maybe they feel like this about you. And so you could be walking away because of it. Tell me more about this. Yep, the truth comes out about somebody trying to persuade you with something like that you know it's not, that's not what's up. Like, I don't know. Somebody could act wild. They could like have some type of addictions or like they get drunk, they go out and party a lot. They end up having like sexual um, rendezvous. Tell me more. They, this is somebody that looks one way and then like, um, on the flip side, like underneath the way that they look, it's like the girl next door, but then she ends up being like this crazy freak. And there's like a door. I don't know why I'm seeing this, but like there, she got like a room in her house with the lock on the door and like all these sex toys. And she brings, you know, she's a woman of the night. You might end up finding that out about somebody like that's crazy. And it could be the other way around. Maybe you're finding out that somebody you thought if you're a female or you deal with fem you deal with men like somebody you thought was like wholesome and whatever this person having like this insane sexual desire or like their sexual dating history is crazy I don't know. Like when they get drunk, they just do anything. Somebody is acting like they don't care that someone, that they breadcrumb somebody, they're emotionally detached. I feel like somebody here likes the finer things in life and that might be the reason why they, they walked away. Tell me about the suspicion. You are suspicious of somebody. It's like, Someone is showing you their best self or that's what they show the world. Like, and it looks like they don't have any flaws, but for real, for real, you don't trust them. And you might actually be right as to why you don't trust them is what I'm seeing. All right. Let's see what's going on regarding your finances and career. Some of you have been in a toxic work environment that, that pays well, or the benefits are great. And that's the reason why you stay. You definitely could be selling some things that bring in, you know, a lot of money or I see a payday coming. Some of you need to stop shopping. 
I see a new job or new opportunity to make money coming in for you. You already made a decision. Some of you have hired, if you're an entrepreneur, you hired somebody new or you are hiring maybe. Okay. I see you guys leaving one job or letting something go in the past because you have enough, like, you know, you're protected, you know, your bills are paid, or there is something that maybe you, you save for a rainy day, your bills are paid up, you're good. I feel like you're going to get a new car, new house, new job, something of that nature where you look really good. Some of you have spent a lot of money on impressing others with the way that you look or like your clothes. There's definitely a, an opportunity for some money coming towards you. I see you guys learning a new job or training someone new. learning something new. Some of you, your investments into like either stocks, bonds, crypto, whatever, they may have gone down, but I see that coming, like coming to an end. I also feel like there's positive changes here. Big ones. Some of you are doing more than one thing at a time. Um, as far as your career is concerned. Yeah. There is something going on. Um, you might be leaving a toxic environment or like ready to let go of a toxic environment so you can move forward for some. Let's see. Oh, okay. Somebody is going to offer forgiveness here, whether this is you or your person. All right. I just wanted to pull a card for you guys. I didn't realize I was 37 minutes in. Jeez Louise. All right. Scorpio, what advice do you have for Scorpio? Trust your instincts. I'm going to start calling myself a nosy reader. Um, Scorpio, trust your intuition. Listen to your intuition. You have evolve or repeat. The choice is yours. So you can... Continue to do what you've always done. You're always going to get what you always got. Or you can have a different outcome. You know, you can make some different decisions here. Opportunity knocks. You're going to have some new options coming in. You need to trust yourself. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition about this, right? It's going to be worth the extra effort. It may not necessarily be easy. It may not come as easy as other things, but it's going to be worth it. But don't make permanent decisions based on temporary emotions. Don't have a knee-jerk reaction to something, all right? Sit with it for a minute before you give yourself, um, before you move forward and make a choice, all right? That is what I have for you guys. I love you. I hope you're loving on yourself. If you resonated with this reading, please make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe down below, or subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already done so. Um, it really, all that really does support my channel and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.